God damn it, Telesto, you've done it again. You're always breaking the game one way or another with your stupid crystals. First it was infinite supers, and then it was the blind well energy skip, and now, and now, you make war mine cells? Unbelievable. Despite Telesto's infamous history of game breaking nonsense, this is not actually one of their moments. Today the most broken exotic in Destiny ever is now finally combined with the most broken set of mods in Destiny 2 to make Telesto cells. This build has got everything you'll ever need for a perfect all round build with tons of increased damage output with multiple buffs and debuffs. Unplanned Reprieve is the exotic perk on Telesto, where fusion projectiles attach and detonate with a delayed explosion. Harbinger's Pulse will also auto reload your kinetic and energy weapons on multi kills too. It's the delayed explosion we're taking advantage of here though, as this will create Warmind cells thanks to Warmind's decreased seasonal mod. Any void splash damage final blow can create Warmind cells with this one. This works on the same principle of all Warmind cell mods, where 5 such kills will create one, and it's super easy to pull off with how explosive Telesto is at taking out multiple enemies. We're going full void in this one to maximise Warmind's decree with the Void Walker Attunement of Chaos. Bloom is the main perk in the subclass tree, making all of your void ability kills create a void explosion. These do chain and are especially effective at clearing out waves of lower tier adds with just one grenade or melee ability. Chaos Accelerant allows you to overcharge your grenade ability too, making it last longer and deal more damage. The Entropic Pull Melee will also grant you grenade energy too. And lastly, we all know about the Slover Bomb, but it too will also create war mine cells, so don't forget about using it when you need to. Our heavy weapon of choice is the Tomorrow's Answer Rocket Launcher with a cluster bomb roll to create further void splash damage, but you can use any void rocket or grenade launcher as standard with Chain Reaction also being a good shout. As for kinetics, Fatebringer is back, and so I'll be squeezing in my D1 OG god roll of explosive rounds with Firefly into this build. Now we're not going to be using the quite frankly overpowered breach and clear mod in this build because I want to max out our war mine cell and explosive potential. But there's one vastly underrated warlock exotic that will debuff everything as standard anyway, and that's Felwinter's Helm. Warlord's End creates a weakening burst affecting nearby enemies on a charged melee final blow. Finishes and final blows against powerful targets increase the radius of the burst and the length of the weakening effect. It's way more potent than Breach and Clear for general play, granting a 30% debuff to targets marked by the purple hue. It lasts for an entire age, especially if you use finishes on yellow bars and champions to debuff a huge area. This sets us up nicely for the mods. Impulse Recycler will grant grenade energy on grenade final blows. You can double up on this mod for an increased effect too, and it turns your grenade into a basic form of the controverse holds to be honest, returning a full grenade charge in most situations. Global Reach is the base war mine cell mod to extend their area of effect. Power of Rasputin will grant a 10% weapon damage bonus to yellow mark targets near to a war mine cell. Wrath of Rasputin will allow your Firefly Fatebringer to create cells to complement the setup and make war mine cells efficiently with all of your weapons. Strength of Rasputin will grant you melee energy when collecting a war mine cell, allowing you to focus on your Felwinter's debuff as often as possible. There's a lot going on here with the war mine cells, but this setup allows you to maximise their usage in any situation. All of your abilities and weapons have the chance to create them easily in combat, then you can simply either blow them up if you wish, or use the increased damage output allowed by Felwinter's Helm and the power of Rasputin. And lastly, if you're done fighting everything or want to refresh your melee ability, you can just collect it with the strength of Rasputin mod. It definitely allows for more fluidity with combat, especially given how often you'll be creating war mine cells. Don't forget to use Fusion Rifle Ammo Finder, Reserves and Scavenger mods where possible. For endgame content, you can use the Overload Hand Cannon mod along with the Sundering Blast mod to deal with champions and surrounding adds with an explosion. The Unstoppable Grenade Launcher mod can also be an option on your heavy weapon, but you may have to move some other mods around to make this one happen. Telesto is super strong in PvE, especially if you've got the catalyst to increase its magazine size, but being able to create war mine cells with it is just absurd to be honest. I've always had a ton of fun using this exotic, but now it gives me a reason to main it. If war mine cells are your thing, then you definitely have to try this one out. I had a blast putting this quick guide together, so I hope that you enjoyed watching it too. 
if you did smash that sub button, I need like 25 more subs or something today to hit 10,000. And also, please hit the like button too, 1,330 likes will do today I think. Join the Discord server if you want to discuss this further, links are below. But that's it for this one, so on that and as always, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.